Okay, so one all today. That was a little bit flat. First half, definitely. Very flat. Um, and that has probably cost us the game, really. Um, you should kick on then, we get the penalty at home. You should go and take the game to them and, 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 and you know, try and put it to bed, go and get the second one and, you know. But, again, like we, we keep, we're sitting here the last few weeks, aren't we? We're a bit frustrated with everything and talking about the opposition, they, they were up for it first. They won more tackles first half than we did. That was ultimately what cost us. They came out with too many second balls and that enabled them to put a little bit of pressure, but they've had one shot all game and that was a penalty. So, you know, it tells you how the game's gone. Really. Mm. Yeah, I mean, when we got the penalty, which was a bit out of nothing, we looked totally in control until their penalty. Well, it was a pen, wasn't it? I think it definitely was a pen. Burnsy's got in and oh, that's got the yeah, wrong side yeah, and yeah. Him a push, good finish. Um, but like you say, we didn't kick on and we didn't look, we didn't have that extra bite in our game. Um, and they did, and that's the disappointing thing. I thought they were in periods more up for it than us. Yeah, I think the one the one bright spot was uh, John Wasili coming on. He, he cool. really uh, lit the crowd up and gave them something to talk about. Yeah, that's that's what he's about. He, 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 unfortunately for him, he flicked in and out of games, so we've got to make sure that he starts to learn what's expected <coughs> of him for, for 90 and then we could have a a decent player on our hands should we, should we decide to, to keep hold of him. So, yeah, an impressive debut for him. We'll hopefully see more of that. But, you know, generally, second half, when you're so dominant, that's at key times, your touch has to be better. Your, your, your movement has to be... We got caught offside two, three, four times, lazy and just lazy. Not not good play from Vauxhall, just laziness from us. People possibly trying to gain that advantage when you maybe don't need to. You, you, may, you, you just have to maintain that pressure on teams. And, and then when you roll down the side, your first touch has got to be good. And, you know, we we got into some great positions, and you know, I don't think they got in our penalty area hardly second half. But you know, the longer the game went on, you just felt it maybe wasn't going to happen. I just felt old habits today. You know, we drifted in the corners at times. That you know, we should have been better at taking corners. You know, that's basics um, and just decision making, things like that. So that was a disappointing thing for me and the gaffer. Like, bit of a danger of the season kind of petering out now after. A few draws and a, and a loss. Yeah. March hasn't been a great month, and now we've got, just got the six games left. How do you, yeah, how do you really stop that happening? Well, I, I think you just keep rotating. You know, Joel keep it fresh because he's new and he wants to impress. So there, there's, you know, and all the time I think Al Ray's game is to to try and be positive on a football. You know, we've now given Rushy and Marshy a bit of a rest, and maybe it's time to, to. So there's ways to do that, and that's our job, isn't it, to keep it, you know, to keep it honest and keep it fresh. So. As much as the you know the, the result has disappointed us in spells second half, we played some good football just now. The end product, we we got to what in, in and around the, the 18, and then a little bit slow with our play. Possibly they got behind the ball, and once it got three, six, seven numbers behind it, we we couldn't break, break them down. So we didn't didn't create a lot, but we did have probably three or four give. Oh yeah, chances. we had enough to win it. Russ. We definitely yeah. had enough to win the game, but we keep saying in the dressing room we need to be more ruthless as a group and. You know, we, we weren't today and we haven't the last four or five games. You know, you look at them and that's what I mean. All right, we're drawing a lot, but we're, we still need to show that little bit of a streak in us where we can go and kill teams off. And we've got six games left and four of them uh, are pretty vital to the other teams. Yeah. Um, so we've got Histon and then the, the three teams at the top. Yeah. So then, you know, Boston last week, we put in probably one of the best performances since Christmas. So well, I think when teams are coming and... Uh, uh, we're playing against teams that are looking to go at us and beat us. Then, then we we can really pitch, you know, pitch up against them and, and and do well. So I think that'll ultimately have to give our our game a lift because otherwise, you know, we'll get beaten and we don't want that. So you know. that, we're getting more more respect now of teams. I think, aren't we? You know, they're coming here and being a bit more tactical rather than thinking, oh, here we go, we can sort of do these today. And that's probably credit to everyone since Christmas still. So. Still a positive, even though we know we, we we need to get three points on the board. In terms of looking forward to next season, you're probably learning as much about the players in this not as good a spell as you did in the good spell, are you? I think you always do. I think you learn yeah. about people when it's going when it isn't going as well. It, it's easy to play when you're full of confidence and, and goals are, are, are flying. And I know we're still scoring goals, but ultimately, sometimes when, like you say, when teams find us hard to uh, sorry make it hard for us to, to to win and get all them bodies behind the ball then you see who can really carve things out for you and, and, and turn a draw into a win because of their ability or that little bit of composure. So yeah, you're always learning about them and it's a very solid dressing room, just 
we're just undoing ourselves at the moment, I think, by a mixture of different things. I mean, you're talking about unlocking the defence, obviously, and having Chess yeah. today must have, must have been a, a hindrance in that respect. Yeah, it was to a certain degree, but I thought in the first 20 minutes, Digger's drive and, and some of his balls wide and, and splitting full-backs and centre-backs was very good. and We just didn't capitalise. The, the cross didn't find somebody or the run was where the ball wasn't and it was just one of them one of them things for us so but yeah you know that's that's Chez's game and, and, and he, he's been fantastic at that and his drive forwards and backwards for us has been really good so yeah you're missing players that are on top of the game but you know I, I thought we should have still had enough we? yeah we, we created enough to, to win that game with regards to the personnel so we've got Histon next week who are just knocking on the door above the drop zone and uh, how do you see that one? Well, again, just like you said, it, it, it's going to be a game where it can't fizzle out because they they probably still need it. Yeah. So they're scrapping, and and I'll I'll have to probably think. Well, it's a home game; we must win. So possibly that'll open it up for us to to be a bit more expansive with our game and and, and leave leave areas and pockets for us to, to play in. So yeah, you, you keep looking forward to the games, and then obviously after Histon, we've got one or two big hitters. So I think it it, it keeps it exciting for us. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers thanks. thanks.